or button. Um, the first thing that we're going to do in class is we're going to talk kind of generally about the lab. And then we're going to um, uh, uh, look at the lab document. And then we're going to turn it over to someone who um, is on a computer and can share their screen for everyone else. And then um, you'll, you'll get to talk about it. All right. So first thing we're going to do is I am going to share the document that we're talking about. And uh, before I share, does anybody have questions, um, comments, anything? Yes, Jarrell. Um, yeah, so when I was taking the reading quiz um, last night, it was some questions on like, um, I think it was like part two and like part three about how many individual coins would be tossed. From my mm -hmm. understanding, Thought they would be tossed simultaneously. Maybe I read it wrong, so I was kind of confused. Yes. So uh, the coins, because the reason you need three coins is because you are going to be tossing them simultaneously. Absolutely. So the first one, you toss a coin once. You toss one coin. The second one, you toss two coins, and the third one, you toss three coins all at the same time. And in that way, you get kind of independent uh, measurements. So each coin is a measurement. And um, we'll, we'll kind of talk about that as we go through the procedure. All right? Okay, so I just to make sure. okay, I just wanted to make sure, because I know up there, um, I think it was a question. And um, I put oh. what I'm with individual, because at the beginning they say individual, I put zero, but. Um, and I think one time I put 40, but like each time it says zero. I know like you said, like sometimes like you might put it up there and I just need to see it and grade it. But I just want to like kind of see and see if like I was like going in the right direction or was I like, you know, kind of off. That was it. But OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Michaela kind of clarified the question, too, on um, for the coin tosses. Is it uh, individual coin tosses? So would it be the number of coins or the number of coin tosses? So it's the, um, you toss the three coins 40 times. So, um, so I guess individual coin tosses, that would be 40 times three. But I don't remember the question, so I'll have to look at the question and let you know. But now that you've brought that up, I know that that may be a problem with the wording of the question. So I will um, look at that and see. Um, yeah. So um, Iana says that um, she multiplied it. So I will um, go back and look and see um, how it's worded. Yep. And um, I will not penalize you for those questions because of the wording. It's, it's interesting. No one's brought it up before. So thank you for bringing that up. Sometimes I ask questions and they make sense to me. <laughs> They don't make sense to anyone else. So um, my brain works a little bit differently than other people's. All right. Um, and that's not anything uh, on you. It's it's totally on me. All right. So, um, so of course, uh, so that's a good question, Michaela. Are we doing the lab together for the data and then answering equations individually? So actually, that's up to you. Um, however you want to uh, do that. So if you were working in the lab and you were working with a partner, which is usually how I do this lab, um, you would be doing the whole thing together. You would just be writing your own answers on your own paper to, to turn in. And so each person has to turn in a paper, but um, uh, you're probably going to have very similar answers. And, and that's fine. Just as long as you're not just copying and pasting answers, um, we, you know, I want you, I want to make sure that you're understanding what what you're talking about. All right. So the lab is usually due at the end of the lab period. I know some of you are uh, joining from work and you don't necessarily have your laptop with you. Um, typically, it's due at the end of the lab, but again, um, some of you have special circumstances. And you can turn it in when you get it done. Okay. I don't have um, penalties for late assignments on lab assignments because if you miss one, you have to do it anyway. Otherwise, you get a zero on it. So um, anything can be done 
late, just don't get it done too late because by the midterm, you need all of these done so you can consult them um, on your midterm, okay? Which is the open notes test where you, where you work on your lab. So I'm flexible in terms of when you turn them in because I know some of you are going to be um, working asynchronously. <clears throat> and that's why we're missing a couple students this morning as well. And that's okay, um, as long as you are understanding what you're doing, okay? Yeah, it's kind of tricky to get used to another new class, but um, yeah, I'm very flexible with lab. All right, so um, as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing some basic probability today. <clears throat> and normally to calculate probability, you're going to look at sort of um, your experiment. So flipping a coin is, is an actual experiment because before you flip it, you don't know what the outcome is going to be, but you can predict what the outcome is going to be because when you flip it, you only have two options. So you're limited in what the outcome could be. Now the outcome that we know about that we can predict is that it's either heads or tails. And so we know that out of the two choices of what it could be, one choice is heads, so one out of two, and the other choice is tails, which is one out of two. So if you add one out of two plus one out of two, you get two out of two, which is all of the possibilities. So that means that we can calculate the probability. Probability is one out of two or one half. And we all kind of know intuitively that the probability of a coin toss is half and half. And so that's why we use a coin for the beginning lab. Now, throw in there something called chance. And we know that sometimes your coin could um, actually land on its edge, which is very uh, tricky to do, I guess, but it could happen. And then you would, neither of them would be true. And so there is that probability or the possibility that something could go wrong and that's called chance. So it could be neither, it could be heads or it could be tails. And that's what chance is. But probability is that it's probably gonna be heads or tails. And so that's a calculated value. So anytime you talk about probability, you know that there's a calculation involved. And so it's, it's how many times this specific thing, for example, tails, this specific tails outcome can happen out of all of the total possibility. So probabilities are never 100% because of chance, but we can get really, really, really close to 100%. And just remember that chance is kind of out there. So eventually we're going to do statistics to measure how likely chance is. And so that is going, your likelihood of chance increases as there are more variables going into the experiment. For example, is it a windy day? It, are you flipping the coin into sand? Are there other things that are going on that might influence the results? And so that's where chance comes in and we measure chance to see, is it chance or was it actually some kind of thing influencing the result? Okay, that's the purpose of probability and the reason why we measure probability. Now with coins, we don't really care that much. I mean, there's not a whole lot at stake with a coin flip unless you're talking about you know, the Super Bowl or, or you're talking about, you know, making a huge life decision based on a, on a coin flip, then the stakes are pretty high, but usually a coin flip isn't that big a deal. Now, um, yeah, you guys can control it because you're all presenters. So when you um, are calculating probability biologically, you're going to try to say, let's ignore chance. And let's look at all of the possibilities. So for example, if you have an individual who has two chromosomes and you're going into meiosis and you're saying, okay, what's the probability that they get this chromosome? Well, they could either get this one or this one. So there are two possibilities. So out of the two, getting this one is a probability of one half. And so we'll see this as we, as we start to develop um, and go into the idea of probability when we start talking about Mendel's experiments on uh, tomorrow. All right. 
So when you go through the procedure, so we have a very simple coin toss. You toss one coin 40 times. And the reason we do 40 is just because it's easily divisible by um, by um, uh, uh, two, basically. And then two, and then uh, four, and then eight. That's, that's why we do it that way. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to use your um, you're going to use your um, table to enter the calculated probability for each outcome. So if it's heads, it would be, hopefully you already know, the probability would be 1 half or 50% or 0.5. And then the probability of tails would be the same. So in this case, they're equal. So when you enter your probability, you're going to basically, uh, that's your prediction. So your hypothesis is that this coin is behaving normally and chance is not involved. And so when, or, or chance is, is completely involved. Sorry, I said that wrong. So if any differences are due to chance. So once you uh, record your prediction, then you do your experiment, which is actually flipping the coin. And so you're going to count how many times heads comes up and you're going to count how many times tails come up. For a total of 40. And that's why we have the total at the bottom that says 40. And so if we look at that, let's see, if we look at that table here, so you would enter your probability here, you would enter your other probability here, your observed number would be what you actually observe, what you, what you count, and um, your expected number is based on out of 40 total, con uh, 40 total coin flips, how many would you expect to be heads? Based on the probability, so the expected number is always calculated. So the expected number is gonna be your probability times your total gives you expected. And you do that for both, probability times total equals expected. Because if you flip a coin 40 times, how many times would you expect it, just knowing a coin, how many times would you expect it to land on heads out of 40? Absolutely. So you would expect it to wind up at 20. 20 plus 20 gives you 40. And so what you're going to be doing over here in the deviation column is seeing how, how off you actually were in your experiment. Did you get 20 and 20 here? I mean, some people will, but some people won't, right? And so um, obviously if you're doing this all together, <laughs> you're gonna have the same numbers. But if you wanna do um, your own little experiment and flip your coins 40 times, um, uh, yeah, you can do your calculations and find your deviation, which is just the, the difference between the two numbers. So Michaela asked a question, so the lab pulls up as if it was like a quiz, not just a worksheet. Would I still be able to leave it and come back to it? Absolutely, yes. So um, it's, it's open, you can do it. Um, I think you get a couple different tries if you accidentally submit it, you can go back and open it back up and, and work on it. So, um, Although if you submit it, then your answers kind of go away. So you can um, stay in the document, and it actually saves per question. So each time you enter an answer, it actually saves the question. And so as long as you keep the document open, you can keep going back to it. Um, at, at, and I say that as long as you don't submit it, like you don't hit the submit button, as long as you keep it open, it, it, you can keep going back to it. All right. So. Um, uh, like Michaela said, there is an assignment um, that it, it's actually called a test, but um, it's not a test, it's an assignment, it's just the way that you have to ask the questions. And so as you go through, it asks you questions about what you just did, and then you get to um, the next table. So the next table has to do with using two coins at the same time. Now, this is your experiment, so however you want to figure out which coin is which is up to you, whether you do two different hands or you do position, like you flip it onto your notebook and you do position, it doesn't matter, as long as you know the rules. And so you'll do the same thing, you'll calculate your probability, except this time, because you have two coins, you can either have 
two heads, two tails, or you can have one head and one tail, or you can have one tail and one head. So that's four different combinations, four different possibilities, possible combinations. So that means that your numbers, your probability is going to be out of four, right? So you have to decide, are they all equal? If they're all equal, then they're each one out of four. And so once you get your probability, you can calculate your expected number. Once you do that, you can do your experiment, get your observed number, and do your simple uh, subtraction to get the deviation. Now, eventually, we're going to be doing some statistics on the deviation and um, called chi-squared statistics. And we will actually see if this population, quote unquote population, if this experiment um, acted the way we expected it. Right, so that is the, the lab document, and I will kind of point out, oops, I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, I will point out that when you get to, uh, so part three is three coins, and so that gives you more, oh, I guess I stopped there. Yeah, I stopped there. So three coin tosses together, uh, one half times one half times one half, and you wind up with, um, eight different combinations and so you'll see on the table that you have the eight combinations all right so that is the lab and then if you um, go over to the assignment i'm going to pull it up uh share application pro tab So if you look over here in your Blackboard course, we see that we have our Lab 1 Principles of Probability. You click in. Obviously, uh, this is where that document was that I was uh, showing you. We have our Lab 1 Reading Quiz, uh, which hopefully you had already found. If not, um, usually I kind of give students a little extra time to um, complete that first one. We talked about the questions being weird. And then we open it, it looks like a test. You begin it. And as long as you're working on it, see it says save answer. You can save your answers, but here is where you submit it. So if you're gonna keep working on it, sorry, if you're going to keep working on it, <laughs> uh, don't submit it yet, just save your answers. And close the window and you can, you can go back to the same attempt. So this has two attempts. Um, the first one, obviously, is attempt number one. Uh, these are just uh, sort of open-ended questions. Um, uh, you fill out the table. Now, I will warn you that when it actually, um, when it uh, um, grades it, automatically grades it, it uh, um, messes with the, um, the calculations. And so the calculations are, are kind of off. So it's the, the, uh, the auto grading function doesn't work very well. So I do have to go back to you, uh, back to it. Now, um, there's the other question I was looking at. So imagine that you were asked to toss four coins together for 40 tosses. This actually asks you to, um, to figure out what those, all those subgroups are going to be. So what all those combinations are if you had four coins. So if you need to visually see that, you can, you can put four coins in front of you and see all the different combinations that you would have. All righty, so that is that. Um, any questions about how you want to uh, do this? Does anybody want to volunteer as our presenter? Or do you get expected number? Yes, yeah, so expected number, you multiply probability times the total, not the observed number, times the total number, okay? All right, so uh, you have the option of going into groups of five or one big group of, looks like there's eight of you today. Absolutely, you can work on it individually as well. Um, and just pop in if you need help. Um, otherwise, I'm going to let uh, one of you um, 
share. Anyone who's on a on a computer can share their screen uh, and um, share the assignment so that everyone can see it while you're talking about it. I'll let you guys organize. I'm gonna just sit here um, and I'll be in the background. All right, so let's knock this out, y'all. So, um, does everybody like madness? Whoever wanted to work individually, is everybody else okay with like working as like a big group? Do y'all want smaller groups? Do y'all want to work individually? Okay, so it seems like everybody's in favor of a big group. Um, I personally don't want to share my screen, but I will if I have to. <laughs> so there's no if no one else is able to, I will. So is nobody else able to? You're fine. You're fine. You're so fine. Um, okay. So <laughs> I guess I'm gonna share my screen. Give me a second. Oh wait. Yeah, just just close all the tabs you don't want us to see. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, all this work. That's the, that was the main reason. <laughs> Hold on, I closed the map. Hold on. Okay. Um. All right. Um, or sometimes I just open a new window or whatever. That's smart. And luckily, I um ended up closing out um the lab so it didn't um not the lab my um a lot of tabs out last night so it wasn't too many okay um let's see all right so when i'm sharing the slides can i use this main room or do i have to add like my own where like that way I, we can edit it and stuff or i can just use this one that's already queued up yeah, so you can you can use that one. I think it was missing something though. I don't I didn't see the last question on it. Um, you can use the one that's queued up or you can open up um, the uh, what's it called? The assignment itself. And that way mm -hmm. you can type it in as we're going and you can just submit oh, yeah, it that works. once you're done. Okay, that works. Hold on one second. Let me do that then. I think that'll be better anyway. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Why is this acting so silly? I'm sorry, you guys. We um, I know y'all wanted me to go first. I know. Lab one print. Here we go. Why is it blanking out? So I can't share it. Hold on, it's blanking out. It doesn't want me to share it with you guys. For some reason. Uh, let me try another method. So if you share application screen and then um, mm -hmm. so if you have it open in, an, in another tab <clears throat> and you share right. application screen, you should be able to choose the tab that you want to share. Oh, that works. That works. That works. Okay. That's so much better than what I was doing. Okay. And then you can you can actually go back to the record the um uh this screen so that you can see it and you can see the chat at the same time. Oh yes, that's even better. Okay. We're all learning how to use Blackboard Collaborate. All right, I love it. All right, let's see. Is it sharing my entire screen? Um, 
Can so, you guys see that? Not yet. Once you click on um, the tab you want to share, you have to like hit, there's a blue button at the bottom of the little pop-up box. Okay. Yeah, it's not in two. I had to change my privacy. I had to change my privacy. That's all it was. Okay, I got it. I'm going to record the content you're sharing too. I'm back. My apologies. <laughs> it um logged out as I was um setting it up. Okay, there we go. We're in the building. All right. Hold on. Ooh, that's not cute. Hold on. Can you guys see the um the worksheet? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. If, you, if you choose the tab, yeah, if you choose the tab instead of the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I clicked the wrong one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So let's stop there. And then application under. That way it'll only show one window. Yeah. So right. go to okay. whatever Google tab or whatever you're in. Okay. Um, I was in Word. Can is it is it possible to just show like a Word document? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you can do that too. Um, if you show the assignment though from the from Blackboard. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, I forgot. Blackboard, I forgot. Open up the assignment. Yeah. I forgot all about the assignment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. That's fine. First We're all learning because next week someone else is going to do it. Oh yes, I'm glad I went for this thing. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So share the application. Application window. Chrome share the tab. Window. Yep. Chrome tab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here we go. And then hit the blue button. There we go. Yes. All yes. right. All right. Yeah. Now, if you're if you go back to the collaborate tab, you'll be able to see both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you won't okay. necessarily be able to type in the Collaborate tab, but you'll be able to type in the other tab. So if you need to, right. if the, if you have the, a chat coming up and you see that a chat's coming up, um, you can flip back and forth to read. But I would encourage everyone to maybe speak up because it's easier for you. Yes. If you don't if mind, but if it's tab. okay, I'm talking about work and stuff, so I understand that. So if you're able to, that would help. But you know, if not, I understand as well. So um, thank you for being accommodating. <laughs> you're welcome. So um, let's go ahead and knock this out. So we're in the first portion of it, and we have question one. We have to fill in the table. So um, methodology-wise, I'm not sure how everybody wants to. Um, do this we have to put in the raw data so we're doing it. the first part we're only using one one coin um probably 50 50 okay 50 percent all right so we can go ahead and fill that in for the um probability for heads and tails 50 percent one half okay okay all right. Um, next, we can move on to our. We want to do observed number or expect? Well, we get to do expected number next, correct? Expected number. 
with the expected number B, 20 out of 20. Well, the sporty coin toss is correct, and we're most, the expected number is, um, we just said it, isn't it? The um, the expected the outcome that you're trying to predict times that, with a probability times that, so it'll be 20 times 40? Am I, am I wrong, you guys? Remember, it's 20 probability. Times. You said what, Cor? 40, 40 yeah, I times so. okay. 50%. Oh, 40 times 50%. Oh, okay, yeah, that actually is right. So it'd be 20. Okay, so the expected number would be 20 for each of um, heads or tails because it's only two. This time, well, only two options this time. So expected number 20. 20. And next, we have to do the observed number. All right. Does anybody else want to flip the coin? Or am I flipping the coin? And we base it off me flipping the coin. Try to get everybody the chance to have some handles, hands on experience if they want to do it. Well, I flipped the one coin thing just now when you were preparing the. The um, screen sharing. Teamwork. So all right. if y'all want to use my numbers. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so I had 21 heads. All right. And 19 tails. That works. Okay. And the... um. Final column would be the deviation. Does anyone have a methodology on that? Does anyone work on that? Does anybody want to work on that? That way we can all spread out and you know have like kind of like some equal stuff going on. So for the deviation, I was subtracting mm -hmm. like the observed from the expected. Mm -hmm. So it'll be for heads will be positive one and then for tails will be negative one. Okay. Negative. All right. Now we can move down. Is the zoom okay for everybody on this window? I wanted to make it so everybody can read it. I can zoom in some more if you would like. Um and then question two, just let me know if it is a little bit too zoomed out. Question two, devise an algebraic equation using variables to calculate the expected number of heads and tails for a single coin toss. Make sure that you define your variables. How can this be useful to you in other situations where you need to find the expected number, for example, flipping two coins at the same time? So devise an algebraic equation using variables to calculate the expected number of heads and tails for a single coin toss. Okay. So, um... Does anyone have any ideas towards what variables we want to use and how we want to do it? Okay. So, um, We could do, um, we could probably do, if we got to use variables, I'm not sure if I'm like thinking the right mind frame, but we could possibly use like the variables like at the top. It's so, like probability, we already got that as P. So we could be like, um, if we want to find the expected number, we could be like um, E equals, well, no, we'll just put it on the right side. So if that's the case, then we'll do the total number, which would be T. Um, times P equals E N, which would be your expected number. Is that okay? Am I thinking wrong? That sounds right. Um, for okay. number two, like I know it says the expected number of like heads and tails. So like if uh, we use the equation, is it supposed to give us a total number or is it supposed to give us like, oh, this is how many heads we will have or this is how many tails we will have? I don't know if that makes sense. 
I think it's like supposed to be like for I think it's supposed to be like for either or. You get what I'm saying? It's like yeah. maybe it's so be like, you know, say because it's only a 50 50 chance it's either gonna be one or the other. So I think that it would be like something like that, but I'm not sure. Okay. All right. So do we think we want to change the equation? Because I with that in respect, and you know, with that in mind, now that you said that, do we want to kind of change tweak the equation a little bit? Or is like everybody in agreement with kind of what we what I put forth or what? Because I want to make sure that everybody's heard. I'm going to be honest. I do not know what to put for this equation. You, you know, that was on the fly. So <laughs> <laughs> that was on the fly. So, uh, okay. So what I was saying do is um, take your total number, which would be represented by T, multiply that by your probability will be signified by p and that would give oop, that well that would give you your e n which is significant um, means expected number oh i didn't read correctly it's just for a single coin toss my bad well no that's right never mind I'm good. <laughs> okay, and I forgot who said the other um, one was yours. I think that makes sense. I was thinking about the way too hard. What'd you say? I said that makes sense. I think I was thinking about it too hard. No, you're fine. Because when you said it, I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. So it's fine. All right. So then make sure you define your variables. So then we got to define them too. So then I push enter. And I'll put T equals total number of tosses. P equals uh, mm. I bet y'all watch me. Y'all making me a little nervous. Hold on. All right. And then E N will equal your expected number. All right. After that, we're asking, how can this be useful to you in other situations where you need to find the expected number, for example, flipping two coins at the same time? And I think that this equation will be useful because it def um it gives you the room to be able to change. Well, mm -hmm. Oh, it, um, this would be useful because if you toss them at the same time, the number of tosses would not change. Am I thinking wrong on that? I think it will be useful because, like, with multiple coins, the probability can change, but, like, the equation will still work no matter okay. if the probability changes or not. I love your wording. Okay, so yeah, y'all about saying the same thing, so we can say that. Okay, so um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it at. I'll just put it under that way. We're just working it. And you scroll down and you see everything. Okay, so um, this equation, excuse me, y'all. I'm not illiterate, I promise. This equation would be useful in other situations due to the fact that it gives we can call should I use observer the word observer or I don't know what to call it I don't know gives what's the individual an individual individual the ability to be able no that's not good either Hold on. The question we used to introduce the fact that it gives. It has the ability to be used when the probability. That's what we're going to say here. That works. Due to the fact that it can still be used even when a variable such as probability. We'll just say like. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm getting real subconscious about it. Like, 
I said uh, the probability can be manipulated without messing up the okay. equation. That works. That thank you so much. That the probability can be manipulated without changing the equation. All right. Next. There we go. All right. Y'all are so helpful. Thanks so much. Um, how can this idea of 50-50 probability be applied to biology? I think that was explained a little bit earlier because it um, wasn't like something about like when we're trying to um, predict the probability of a gene happening, it could be 50-50 um, where it's either going to be this or this. Wasn't that what was explained earlier? And paraphrasing, of course. Yeah, Chromosomes, that's that, what it is. Um, the, <clears throat> sorry, but like the offspring will get like mm -hmm. half of its DNA or half of its genes from the parent, from each parent. Okay. Is everybody in agreement with that? Because I know it seems like, you know, like I don't want to make it seem like us three are kind of like dominating like the whole conversation. Okay. Okay. So what did you say, Alora? So I can type it down since everybody seems to be in agreement. Mm -hmm. The uh, um, this idea the, can be applied. Yeah, this idea can be applied to biology since each offspring gets half of its DNA from each parent. DNA from each parent. All right. If you toss two coins together and count the combinations, you will have four different combinations of heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails. Put in the table first by entering a new probability for each of the four classes. So heads, heads is a one out of two, three, four chance, correct? So. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's a um, 25% chance, so we could say one-fourth. Are y'all, would y'all prefer percent or fraction, or does it not matter to you guys? I'll put percent right now, so we'll just keep pushing forward, you know. Mm. Okay. Um. Expected number. All right. Has anybody else done any of these other columns yet? I can do that as well. I just want to see. Three times. That's fine. Y'all are fine. Um, forty times. Hold on. Forty times point two five, so it'd be ten for each. If I'm correct, can somebody check behind me? I did forty times point two five because you know it's twenty five percent for the probability. So ten for the um expected number for each column. Yeah, ten works. Okay. Let me go back and check the chat. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um. Observe number. Has anyone flipped any coins yet? Do I need to flip some coins? Oh, Cora, we said, okay, 80. Oh, I think it told us 80 since 2 times 40. That makes sense, actually. Okay, so let me redo that. Okay, so 80 times 20. So just double it, 20. And you know, now that I think about it, I could have done it in my head. So, you know, that paid it no matter. Wait, I don't think I don't think we'll do I don't think we're gonna use eighty because like the results have two two coins in each result. So it's like uh -huh. one it accounts prime, for it. But it has two yeah, it accounts. Yeah, it accounts for it. I get what you're saying. I kind of agree with that. What does everybody else think? Because I agree with that. I forget about that part. It is showing two coins in that so it kind of accounts for it for it not to be a need for it to be 80.
All right. I think we're in agreement. Um, has anyone started tossing the coin? What it is? Okay. I'm going to assume not. <laughs> two coins for a total of 40 plus two equal 80, though. I don't know. Um. I'm, yeah, I I can see what you mean with the um eighty. Like I said, I think just my main thing is the fact that like they're not being tossed at two separate times; they're being tossed simultaneously. So that was like I can think it goes back to like my way of thinking when I was doing the reading quiz, where it was like when it said individually, when realistically it's no coins being tossed individually because they're being tossed simultaneously. Almost was like a philosophical question. <laughs> that that the show so. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, I guess I'm gonna start flipping some coin. And, um, So the main thing that um, we're kind of like a little bit torn on is between what would the total number really be in terms of calculating the expected number. I was assuming, what well, me and Laura was assuming on our end, like after she's explaining, that's why I'm kind of leaning more towards where it was like they're being tossed simultaneously um, and the results side, they already have the like it, as if it's two coins being tossed. So um, that's why the total would be 40 when you're doing, okay. Okay, so that answers that question. All right. So um, while I'm flipping the coins, because I know that's going to take, you know, a little bit of time to, especially with me having to record it, um, we can, somebody can, I don't know if we can do this in layup. I don't know. But until she tell me, no, we could try it. Um, somebody can start kind of thinking about five, so that way when we get there, we can kind of... Um, do that while I'm flipping these coins. Do y'all want to split up the coin tosses like four of us each do ten to make it easier? I think that would be better than me guys because me flipping a coin four the times would take me a little bit. So if okay. somebody else does have coins, it would kind of help if we all just did ten. Okay, okay. I'll do ten. All right, I'll do ten. Coral will do ten, and can. Okay, and then that's Kayleen. Yeah, Kayleen, you can um, yeah, you can do that. Let's see if I find. Period. Okay. Hey. Um. So that way, yeah. So one, two, three. Oh wow. Oh, I found it. I found a quarter. Okay. One, two, three, and then um, oh Lord, you said you still flipping coins. Yeah, oh, so what, my my pay. Oh, uh, well, if um, Michaela already has two, then you can, um, Michaela can do it. Yeah, you can do it, Michaela. I don't wanna... I'm over here digging. Yeah, I don't want to. So if that's the case, then you can do it. I don't want to skip over nobody. Don't think I was trying to get over on you. I just, I didn't see the chat at the time. I saw, um, I think when it popped the bottom, I went to the bottom. One, two, three. Okay. And then, if that's the case, then, Laura, you don't have to um, flip the coins. I got two in my hand already, so I can flip them and do 10. And if that's the case, then you could probably, if you're on mine, start looking towards number five and just kind of have a methodology behind it and see what you think. Okay. So, let's start these coin flips. Lord, I lost the coin on the form first flip. All right. Heads, tails. Heads. Heads. Tails. Heads. All right. Heads, 
Tails, tails, heads, heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me toss it one more time and then I'm done. Okay. And then heads, tails. Okay. Let me go back and check the chat. Seven heads, three tails. Okay. Hmm. Um. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we really like. Um. I think that. Yeah, Michaela. I think. Could you be a little bit more specific because it's like they count them in terms of like combinations, so. It's kind of like not like individually. We're thinking of them like simultaneously as like a group, kind of. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um. All right. My bad. I'm um trying to add everything up. So let's start with heads head. So I got one, two, I only had two, and then you had three, so that's five. And then we'll add to that when we get to that bridge. Five. Next head tails. You had two, I had, so that's three, four, five, six, so that's six, yeah, let me make sure, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six, okay. Six, and we'll add to that when we get the other ones. Then tails, heads. I had one. I only had one. And you had three, so that's four. And then tails, tails. One, two, three. I had three, and you had two, so that's five. So we shaping up to um make sure I'm not six plus four plus five be twenty. I think there we go. Okay, so let's see. Heads, heads was two. So that I go up the step. Let me just take a picture of it. That way, I ain't gonna keep flipping back and forth. That's what we'll do. All right. So let's see, you start with heads, tails, you get four, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, then tails, tails, you had three, so six, seven, eight. Um, 
Um, tails, heads, you had one, so that goes up to five. And then um, heads, heads, you had two, so that goes up to seven. So let's add that up and just make sure that um, we hit the total 10 plus five plus eight. That's 30. That's 30. I'll just flip a coin 10 more times. I don't know what happened. Okay, I'm just going to flip a coin 10 more times. I added up. That's only 30. Um, give me a second to flip that. Everybody else can kind of work on. Um, let's see. Tails, heads. Tails, heads. Tails, heads. Jesus, why do I keep getting tails, heads? Um, tails, heads. Heads, heads. Tails, tails. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, heads, tails. Three, four, five, six, seven. Tails, heads. Heads, tails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time. All right, and that is heads, tails. All right. So let's see how many tail heads. One, two, three, four. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine now. Yeah. Okay. And then um, let's see tails, tails. Got two of those. So nine ten. Okay. Um tails, heads, tails, tails, head, tails. I got one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, I got three. So that'll be 11, 12, 13. And then for head, head, I only got one. Yeah, only got one. So that'd be eight. Okay. Eight. Eight plus thirteen plus nine plus ten. Forty. All right. We're where we need to be. All right. So we got our total number now. Now we just gotta do the deviation. Has anyone the deep <laughs> Okay. Um so next we're doing the deviation. Does anyone want to volunteer? Or do I have to do it? I can do it. I mean, okay, if for heads, heads, the deviation is negative two. Okay. For heads, tails, it's positive three. And that one's going to be negative one. Yeah. And then the last one's zero. Yeah. Okay. Sorry it took so long, you guys. Um, which two combinations are essentially the same and the double coin tosses when why can you mix them together? Wouldn't it be um tails, heads, or heads, tails? That's what I said. Because it's a it's a matter of perception, really. If you toss them simultaneously, are you going off for like when it lands first or what? So yeah. Okay. The, the two combinations. That 
thing to change. Jesus Christ, I don't need to charge my computer. I'm gonna flip that up. Maybe be the same as Tails. I put Tails. And. And um, how do y'all want to wear, like, how you can mix, why can you mix them together? While I set my charger. And I would say that um, you can mix them together because they're, um, if you toss them simultaneously, it's that, <laughs> I don't know. I put, because um, it's essentially the same results, like, it's the same results. Okay. I, we can go with that. Um, further, comma. Is due to the fact that they are the same, the same results. Okay. Pushing forward. How is the double coin toss like a genetic coin toss between two individuals with a heterozygous genotype? A A A A. Well, big A, little A, big A, little A. Think about the outcome combinations. What does everyone think? Big A, big A. Big A, little A, little A, or little A, big A. I think it's the same because um, realistically, the probability would be about the same, and um, they would have the same. They really would have this. If we're going based off of that um, genotype, it would have the same amount of expected numbers and probability. Yeah, I because, said that um, like, oh, sorry. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, I said that it would be like the same thing. Like if you put big A, little A, or a little A, big A, your phenotype is still going to come out the same. Yeah. So because like I was saying that because like they look the same genetically, they're going to look the same physically as well. Yeah. So you can just find okay. that outcome. Okay. All right. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So let's just get the word in right. Okay, so how's the double, the double coin toss is like a genetic coin toss between. No, I'm not running it. Those are the ones like a genetic coin toss because how do we want to word it, you guys? I heard what you said, Laura. I just want to make sure that uh, is it right in the green so what you said because so I can just type that. But if not, okay, I guess so. The probability is the same and. Both scenarios and ooh. Obviously, somebody can't spell scenarios. And if two individuals have the same genotype, genotype. How would I finish this? If the same have the same genotype, then the offspring. Um, you can say like, let's see, the double coin toss is a genetic coin toss because the probability is the same. Um, you know, like the probability is the same whether you have big A, little A, or little A, big A. They produce the same phenotypes. All right. 
same in both scenarios. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, my wording is horrible. Same in both scenarios. Same in both scenarios. Should I put a period or should I just keep going? Jesus Christ, my stomach is hurt too. We'll move past it. We'll just move past it. Cause yeah. <laughs> Period. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Same in both scenarios. Period. Okay. Further. Comma. Further, further. Okay. Yeah. Alora, I heard what you said. I respect what you're saying. My mind just isn't working right now, and I don't want to slow the whole group down. Maybe I'll just be able to word that later. We'll just move past that. Did you use the same equation that you derived in question one's calculate the expect number for the combination table two? If not, how did you change or how did you? Determine the expected number for two coins. Um, wouldn't we have used the same equation? Didn't we use the same? Well, wouldn't we basically use the same equation? Am I correct in thinking that? Because we're still tossing them simultaneously. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, comma. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm listening, everybody. Yep. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Yes, comma. The same equation. For this question. All right. Which column of the table which will help you determine whether the coin tosses are close enough to the expected value to count as random chance? Wouldn't that be the deviation? Okay. Column that would be used is the deviation period. On um, problem ten, okay, seven. You're welcome. All right. And I'm going to also type that in complete sentence later. I just want to make sure that we can keep moving. Um, if you toss three coins together and count the combinations, you have eight different combinations. La, 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 la. By first, by answering new property display, you should have four classes. OK. Here's his heads. Here's his tails. Here's his seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a one out of eight. All right. So one out of eight. Am I doing this right, y'all? Ain't it one out of eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's one out of eight. My bad, y'all. I don't think I should type like that, though, because it's a problem. Or does it matter? 
Does it matter? It should be 12.5%, but I say, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll just keep it like this. But yeah, if you want to type it as percent, it'll be 12.5%. But I, um, I don't know. My mind just automatically just said one out of eight. Okay. Um, and your expected number, if anyone's calculated that. I can edit. Okay. Point one two five. No. Jesus Christ. He's, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Um. One. Wouldn't it be five for each one if I'm correct for the expected number five. Am I wrong in my thinking? Okay. Just making sure. All right. So five. Um, I don't know. I'm not to pay it. Never mind. That's why I'm not pushing tail. All right. Observe number. So now we have to flip the coins. You can do ten flips again. Okay. Um. Can anybody else do 10 flips? I can do them if nobody else can. Oh, you can do 10 this time. Okay, Laura says she can do 10. Okay. I'm doing three at a time, right? Yes, we're doing three at a time. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, like I said, I'll do some. And if somebody else can volunteer and they do it midway through, just let me know. But right now we got four with Coral doing one, Alora doing one, Michaela doing one, and I'm doing one. Jeez. One, two, three, four. Because I don't know if you can be texting me. All right, so that's four. All right. So if not, whoever finishes first, I guess, can pick up 10 more. So let's let everybody know. If you finish, I'm about to start flipping. Here's tables and tables. Tears, heads, heads. Tears, 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 This is tears. He is his Three, four, five, six, seven. He is his hands. He is his tears. All right, 10. So I just did 10. So if nobody else um already finished, I'll just go ahead and I'll just pick up the other 10. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nineteen. All right. So I finished ten that I picked up. I just have to um organize them, and in that way, I'm gonna put mine into the chart first. That way, when I add everybody else's, in, it's just more so me adding to those numbers rather than like basing it off of that. So um, let's see. Let's start with heads, heads, heads. So um, we have one, two, three. Three, all right, heads, heads, tails. One, two, thank you. One, two, three, three, all right, heads, heads, heads. Wait, no, heads, tails, heads. I'm so weak of myself. Heads, tails, heads. Here it says one, two. All right, so that's two. All right, it says heads, heads. I got one. Wait, no, I got more than that. It says heads. So one, two, three. Make sure one, two, wait, no, one, two, three, yeah, three. There's just three. Okay. Tails, tails, tails. Mm -hmm. One. Two. It's two. Okay. And then tails, tails, mm, tails, tails, head, tails. Jesus Christ. All right. Um. Two, tails, tails. One, two, three, four. All right. Four on that. Heads, tails, tails. One. Two. Two. And then tails, tails, tails. 
one. Only a one. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to take a picture of everybody else's. And that way I can just add them to there. All right, so heads, heads, heads. Two, three, four, so seven. All right, heads, heads, tails. Oh, heads, heads, tails. Okay. You must not again. Here's his tails. Here's his tails. Two, four. Let me make sure. Here's his tails. Here. Two, four. Here, four. Okay. Seven. Heads, tails, heads. Heads, tails, heads. Two. Two plus four. Six. Tails, heads, heads. Tails, heads, heads. You got one. Three, four, so seven again. Um, if there's heads, tails, 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 one, tails, 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 one, so two, so four. Tails, head, tails, three, um, five, six, and all right. It's tails, tails, one, zero, it's one, so two, so that'll be four. And then it says tails three zero five. Okay, so that must be six. Sixteen, six, sweetheart. All right, let me add these together and make sure seven plus seven plus six plus plus four. Huh? Wait one second. I did something very wrong, I think. Oh, I know what I did. My bad. I I know what I did. I know what I did. My bad. Let me just do this. Give me one second, y'all. I know what I did. Um, that's way too much. And that's because I really wasn't supposed to do that. Give me a second. I can fix it, y'all. Close six. I know what happened. Oh, it's okay. I made a little poopsie, so it's okay. It's okay. We all try. Plus six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tails, tails. 
Exhale, exhale, exhale. Two, three. Test, test, test. So one, two. Yes, yeah, so I need to take away two from that. So that'll only be two. I know what I did, you guys. I'm gonna explain it after I finish. But one, two, all right. Six, five. I know exactly what I did. Tails, 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 tails. One, two, tail, head, tail. So take away two from tail, head. Tails, nine, eight. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Five plus seven plus six plus seven plus two plus eight plus four. Oh, 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 tails, 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 one, three, six, let me see. If you ask, hold on, one six. Okay, you guys, <laughs> give me a second. Let me explain what happened. If y'all won't, could y'all possibly start moving forward? I need to fix mine. I know what I did. Y'all were correct. I did something wrong. I just need to fix the observed number, and then I'll do the deviation as well, but I don't want to hold the whole group up. So if y'all won't, can we move to another one maybe the next table possibly or is this the last oh this is the last table so could y'all possibly move forward while i fix this and i'll tell y'all what i did once i fix it that would help a lot and it would take a lot of pressure off me Just excuse all of that. Thank y'all, because, yeah. <laughs> when I tell y'all what I did, you're going to be like, Jarrell, come on now. Y'all would really be like, Jarrell, come on now, when I tell y'all what I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that, no, you don't want to now. Because you could be like, Jarrell, all right now. <laughs> I swear. Hello. All right. So. <laughs> One. All right. <laughs> heads, heads. Heads, tails, tails. One. Heads, tails, tails. Two. Tails, heads, heads. One, two, three. Tails, tails head, tails. No. Yeah, tails, tails, head. One. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Heads, heads, tails. One. 
one, two. Negative one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> this has been fixed. Oh my God. It is record. Please don't show this to nobody. Oh my God. What I tell y'all, y'all are like, oh my God, because that's the same thing I said. All right. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's it is two, three, four, and then I got five. So that's correct. All right, heads, heads, tails, heads, heads, tails, two, four, six. That number is six, not seven. All right, um, six, heads, tails, heads, two, wait, no, heads, tails, yeah, let me see, heads, tails, heads, heads, tails, heads, two, four, six, all right, tails, heads, heads, tails, heads, heads, one, two, five, tails, heads, heads, tails, heads, heads, should be five, tails, Tails, head, tails, tails, heads, one, two, three, tails, tails, heads, should be three, heads, head, tails, head, tails, two, tails, heads, heads, so five. Six. Tails, head, tails, six. All right, and head, tails, tails. Head, tails, it's one, zero, two, so two, four. Head, tails, tails, Head, tail, tail, so one, one, two, two, four, so four, yeah, and then tail, tail, tails, one, zero, so four, zero, six, so that's six, okay, okay. Woo! All right, hold. On. Let me total this up, and then I think we're back on the right track. Let me just make sure. Six plus six plus five plus three plus six plus four plus six. Hold on. Five plus six plus six. Plus five, plus three, plus six, plus four, plus four. Wait, five, plus six, plus six, plus five, plus three, plus six, plus four, plus six, 41. Oh, okay. This test, I need to take one away. My bad. I miscounted it. So what ended up happening was I did an extra group by accident, and that's why all this took all of this. My bad. This is it. This is what it is. I apologize sincerely, deeply from the bottom of my heart. I want to check it one more time just so y'all can know I really care about this, and I'm really serious, and I'm, I'm really sorry. And yeah, so I just ended up doing an extra group by accident, and that's what happened. So yeah.
Now I'm going to do the deviation. Zero. Plus one. Plus one. Zero. One, zero. All right. So now I can move forward. I'm on question 10. This is the table. This is the correct table. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Which combination of three coins could group you up similar? What to what you did? And what are the new properties when you group them together? What are the new expected numbers when you group them together? All right. Yes, I can. You're welcome. I hope you got everything you needed. Have we um made it through number 10? Yeah, I was kind of caught and fixing the table. Okay, um, I'm looking for the answer for number 10 then. God, I must have been working on the table. Okay, so it'll be head, tail, 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 head, and tail, tail, tail. Ooh, little, little, little. I can't talk this morning. It's okay though. I'm living, living like Larry. We're not quite sure why that did that, but it's okay. All right, so. Okay, scroll up and put, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the other I tell sales heads. Let me take a picture of that so I can type it. All right. Okay, that works. And then that way I can scroll down and we can continue working forward. Yes, thank you so much. For real, for real. Thank you. All right. Three combinations of three coins that can be together. Uh, 
Okay. And then we'll group tell the new property. Also, when you group together the new probability. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Probably would be three eighths and the new X. For each. All right. Imagine that you were asked to toss coins together. How many different combinations would you have? <laughs> All right. Next, imagine that you would toss. Four coins together for 40 tosses. How many different combinations would you have? Heads, heads. Heads, heads, heads. Heads, heads, heads. 16. Thank you. Four coins. times you would have 16, 16 different combinations. Here, you have answer number 12. Um, okay. Could you put them in the chat then? Could you put them in the chat for us? Wait, we'll toss four coins together and add in together because wording is important. Four times. Point zero six two five. And then C. Zero point three seven five. Okay, zero point three seven five. And question. Yes, I can. All right. Ten. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Um, all right. And question nine: What comments of male families would most likely will be most likely, and what evidence support this? Question nine. Huh. Anybody get number 13? I think instead of saying question nine, I think it meant question 12. Oh, okay. All right, let me think. Okay. Support this. Yes, I can. You're welcome. Give me one second so we can try to figure out this last one. Zero sixty.
when um let me go back Wouldn't it be two males and two females would be the um, most likely combination? Oh, oh. Mm. I think it would be the two males because and two females because it has a higher probability. That's what I was thinking. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, okay. would be most likely is two males is two ooh, two males and two females it also so, so also the evidence that that supports this is the probability values in question that are listed in question 12. All right, let me go back to the chat so I can see what folks were saying. Yes, because it has a higher probability. But yeah, because that's a prior higher probability, that's why it would be most likely. So next, let me scroll up. So if everybody's in agreement with so that, let me scroll up to one, two, and seven, so that way everybody can get those, and then I can scroll to any other um, questions anyone has. So this is this is plus one. I don't know what happened to the one. Pay it dust. All right. <laughs> so, did you get that number one and two? Oh, this is all of it. So, T times P equals E N. Then I just defined the um variables, and then that's the bottom. So I had to scroll up a little bit. My apologies. You're welcome. <laughs> You're so welcome. You're so welcome. And then let me go to um number seven, I think it was, wasn't it? You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and this is number seven. Because the same equation was used, so I didn't put too much. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a complete sentence and everything, but yeah. But um yeah. Yes, I can go to number 13. All right. You're so welcome. You're so welcome, everybody. Thank you guys for helping me and being patient. I had a lot going on. But we got it done. I'm happy that we got it done. We only went like a little bit over. So I'm proud of us. I think that was the first lab and we're doing it virtually. I think that's like a that's like a big accomplishment, quite honestly. It really was. Like it it was really good times. It was fun. Even though it was virtual, I found it fun. It's definitely a a different camaraderie in person, but this was definitely one of the more enjoyable labs. So yeah. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen though. Does anybody need anything? I don't think so. Okay, so how I messed up was the fact that I did a whole extra 10 set of coin flips. So when I say recorded them and everything, I mean recorded them and everything. And I factored those into those ones. And then when I got to the end, I was like, Ew. And so 
I had to go back and take all of them out. And so that's why I was such that long pause where I was like, mm-hmm, and I was just really quiet because I was like, uh, I really messed up. And everybody's watching me. I really messed up. And everybody's watching me. So that's all that happened. But we fixed it. And I made sure that it got fixed. So that's what's right. A whole extra 10, not one, not two. I added 10. I had to use both my hands to count them. I'm tickled. But yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> outside of that, um, hope everybody enjoyed it. I had fun. I'll be willing to do it again. I don't plan to mess up if I do have to do it again. And <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but yes, y'all have a good rest of y'all day as well. <laughs> and thank you, Coral. You're so nice. <laughs>